we're gonna get to the bottom of this situation with Anna Mac and Nunu. But girl, either way, Anna Mac still lacks accountability. Let's talk about it. people to have fun let's kick back let's get into a little tea let's not get too crazy but let's enjoy the sip clock that tea but let's get to the chi chi the kiki the the internet bull <laughs> daddy daddy shot a clock every minute please no natalie you always want to do baddie baddie shot a clock did you in that apple uh, of course she is because they don't feed y'all that's probably the first and last and only meal that she probably had during that got that. Well, it's Biggie. <laughs> Who am I lying to? Big Dominican. You know Big Biggie don't miss a meal. Big Biggie always going to find the food. And I'm, I'm, I apologize, too. I don't want nothing to happen to you, too. That's why, you know, I step back because I'm like, we are the injured reserve. And we got to look out for each other while we're here because... Can I get a hug? Yeah. Okay, you're not... Right, over the table. Can I sneak? <laughs> Girl. <Okay. laughs> yeah, I'm going to pull you over the table. I'll hug you some more, bitch. <laughs> They have them with me, so let them say it. She's I'm only right. for one purpose. What I'm trying to understand. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me show y'all. Because, like, why, why does everybody look like this? Look at, look at Evelyn. <laughs> that shit start all the way back here. Uh, speaking of ketchup, I got my food here. I need to eat. At the same time, I need to do my makeup for the rest of the videos today, so. Why Tokyo looking like that? Why is Tokyo looking like that? And why does that look like the same wig that Michael Jackson used to be wearing? Tell me you don't. Yeah, no, I want to, no, I got to say this. Let's talk about No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let me say this, right? Why I'm hungry again? <laughs> Why am I hungry again? I should have told this to bring me a steak, egg, and cheese. I think I need to go cook lunch. Akbar, maybe you need to slide in my DMs and tell me who the doctor is. Because at this point, at this point, Spice, I thought you were from the Caribbean. Yeah, because Ice Caribbean. Ice the only one from the Caribbean. Well, apparently not, child. Spice says she from Puerto Rico. Thank God I'm a loner. And I stay in my room and I read my books. <laughs> what is Jessica even talking about? What is going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Chat 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 Chi Chi. And we're back for another baddies. I from the Caribbean, no ice in the Caribbean tea video. Okay, we back for another baddies. See from the Caribbean tea video. Okay, we trying to get to the bottom of exactly what happened between Nunu and Anamik. Okay, and honestly, that's not the only situation that's going on involving Nunu, aka OO, because she Nunu with a Nunu OO face. So we're just gonna call her OO. That's not the only altercation that she got into that got the people questioning. Because now we're trying to figure out, did she jump DTB? So y'all already know how it goes. Girl, it's a show within a show. So that means we got to go online to the blogs. And we got to go to multiple blogs to try to piece together a piece of the story to try to figure out what may happen. So we're going to do that. We're going to do just that. After y'all go on like this video. <laughs>
Okay, so Baddies Nunu talks her fighting on a Mac and began the reunion due to them allegedly attempting to jump her. Okay. Right, it's only right. Okay. It's only right. Okay. Yeah, it's only right. Yeah, it's only right. We gotta ask questions. It's only right. Like, I don't have, like, I ain't shame. Like, you feel me saying that, like, that ain't that real, but just off the strength, like, you know, for the principal, yeah, you got you got to stand in the paint. Okay. You got to stand in the paint. That's just, that's just that. All right. Anna and um, Biggie. Okay. Yeah. So, Anna, Biggie, and then to be continued, or et cetera, or, yeah, to be announced, or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's how that's gonna go. That's fair. Yeah, that's how that's gonna Good. go. Other than you that, you're gonna tear Biggie up. They got you, David. All the camera laughing. It's over. It's over. This is a sticker. I'm posting it. Too. Wait, don't wait. Hold up. No, no, I'm posting it. No, I love. It. No, <laughs> I love Biggie. I love Biggie. It's just the way you said it. It was so funny. It was like, it was like, oh, but she got to get in the paint. It's only right. Okay. It's only right. I mean, honestly and truly, it is time for Biggie to step up and do something. Biggie going to get her ass whooped. And I want to be there to see it. Okay? Because last episode, if you recall, Biggie caught herself faking like she was sick and p- purposely missed out on everything that was going on. Now, again, I've said before, I'll say it again, but with the replacements, they're always around, but through TV editing, they try to make it look like they're not with them, but they do be with them. So more than likely, either something is going to happen where Biggie tries to jump in or something already did happen. Either way, Biggie needs to run that. She needs to run that with Nunu. It needs to happen. Okay. So that's one post that I saw. We're just going to keep going through them. Some days it's like pulling teeth trying to find information because it'd be all over the place. And I don't always feel like sitting down and watching these hoes talk on live for two hours. Like, girl, I don't know you. I don't know you. You come into the season with three episodes left. I don't know if I if you're even capable of sitting in and keeping my interest for an hour long live. Like, let alone me sitting there watching it, huh? So let's see what else we can find. Okay, so Tasiki had a few words for Nunu after Nunu says production wanted her to start with Anna to go get a reaction out of Tasiki. Okay, I, I, what's up with you and my sister? Like, that's my sister, no shade. So, um, are you on the live? I just definitely would not jack in that preview the next episode of you. Like, well, like, what? Like, you're saying, like, what possessed you to look so So, since production told you to stand up and address it, that's why you stood up and you addressed it, even though it really ain't. The man who signed the check was like, uh-uh, y'all being too friendly. So we were pissed. We were pissed that we even had to go in there and do that. We didn't want to do that. The man who signs the checks, a.k.a. the male, a.k.a. the same person who's allegedly the reason why Anna and Mariah was fighting. Got it. Because he's also the same person that sat on Fox Soul on TGIF and tried to make baddies seem like it was actually child Sunday gospel with Jesus. Got it. We wanted to fucking vibe. You know how just like y'all say every time when the replacements come in, it's like we fight. And we felt that same way too. We felt that exact same way too. So we like, you know, we want to come in, we want to vibe. So in the midst of the conversation I saw, I done turned around on him. I wasn't even listening to him no more. I was pissed the fuck off. So when I came in, we came back in, everybody peed because it was all over our face. So as I'm sitting there, I'm not going to say who came up to me, but someone walked up to me from production, whispered in my ear in front of all of the girls that were sitting at the table. Everyone saw it. And so, like I said, it was never about honor. They wanted action out of Tzatziki. They just thought Tzatziki was going to say something 
for honor. That's what they really wanted. It was never about honor. So they wanted Tzatziki to clock in. But Anna in her mouth. I'm telling y'all now, like hearing more background information, it still doesn't change how I feel about Anna. If anything, it makes me stand firmer in my point that Anna needs to stop escalating shit. Because if you understand, you listen, she's been on two seasons now, but she's been around since Batty South. And she's literally been effing the owner, who's clearly messy as fuck. Because he's going around whispering in their ears. So that proves my point even more, Anna. It's like, what what more are you trying to solidify and prove? Like, you are literally on the show as a staple at this point. Learn to let some things go. Learn to let some things go. And if it's true what she's saying, which I don't doubt that it's not true because she wouldn't just include all the girls in it and say, oh, well, this happened in front of all of them, knowing that they could come out and be like, girl, it didn't happen. I'm going to assume that it's true. Then Anna, most definitely, like you escalated for what? For what? You could have easily been like, oh, I peep game production. I see what's going on. But see, when you start talking that talk, now what could have been just a me just saying something just to get a reaction because production is making me get a reaction and you see them making me get a reaction out of you? Instead of us just blowing it over and having like a quick little verbal spat real quick, now we at the point where we're about to fight because now you done took it a step further already knowing what it like you understand what i'm saying it's like that like now knowing that production did that like i'm still looking at honor where like girl you already peep game why are you doing that but okay no because i put up with you and my sister like that's my sister no shade so are you on the live i was definitely was not jacking that previous next episode of you like we're like what so Tzatziki says, I'm big Tzatziki, literally arguing with me, messing with someone. I'm cool with really make ish go up. I get it. If they did tell you to do it, this, that's their job to stir up storylines to entertainment. My thing is you don't have to do it. It's not like they have a destiny to your head. Tzatziki, go back to school and bring Krishan and Julia with you. And Smiley. And Blueface and Callie and Carlissa. Shout out. And a daddy too. Because I see that he now rubbing up on DJ Sky. The whole family need to just go back to school. Okay. But anyways, y'all want to beef with me so bad. It's sad and crazy because I know y'all not getting paid nothing to do it. And not that I have this knowledge. Oh, and now that I have this knowledge, I'm a miss turning up the story times, storylines. Real tea, y'all boring and fights not entertaining while I'm smart. To see that was so hard to read. Somebody says Zeus hyped up Latifah more than what she really is. She bullies her fam. That's about it. She's not a better Krishan. Um, no. When Anna said production made me do it, I got right online and said that was the truth. Whether some may not agree with what I did, I owned it, and that's that. Oh, this is Nunu. Now, Nunu says, when Anna said production made me do it, I got right on line and said that was the truth. Whether some may not agree with what I did, I owned it, and that's that. And I still feel how I feel regardless. Nunu goes on to say, yes, I did do it. We all have a choice. That's correct. This is all our first time doing TV. So, of course, we're listening to what they tell us to do. That's why I said I'm standing on what I did. Can't take it back. And I'm not looking for no sympathy about it either. That's why I made sure that it was told to honor what I was told. Yeah, I need the rest of this. Somebody else says, even production was trying to make Tzatziki actually work for her check instead of being a space filler all season. It's like they forgot they was on a TV show. You're not naturally entertaining, so somebody had to try to stir the pot. Nunu says that's exactly what it was. And nothing about me was born. My looks hit, my personality hit, my face gave, even the short time I'm shown, I gave it. I mean, Nunu took accountability. What more do y'all want from her? Right. I mean, that's how I'm feeling. And as you see, DTB still saying that Tzatziki needs a storyline. Um, <clears throat> I need more information, though. I need more information. 
I need more information. I need more information. Now, which live was this? What? Okay, it had to be. You know, I don't want to just like no. come on here. I we got that I was getting. Stop fucking with these weird ass people. You know, do so much with Mariah or me standing up. Shit, bitch, don't get somebody who really puts you on. You go, you go try to pop it at me, a person who really. Okay, you came to your audition. I had nothing to do with your West, right? You did whatever you did on your West. That was my first. Uh, baddie season two cool but on uh, east bitch you know what i did for you bitch so guy you want to come dj for my show i'll pay you big money i'll give you what? i'll give you 4800 every episode and i got 17. that's not enough money 17 episodes you did 25 episodes. you're not gonna need me to dj every episode babe but that don't matter. I'm, I'm still going to pay you. She said no too quick. And now she think about it. Mm. Trying to be cute and creative in the morning. <laughs> All right, play that game. Yeah, all right, never mind. If y'all a DJ, y'all looking to get paid, y'all trying to be on my show. Listen, you better DM be a, a bad motherfucker too, bitch. You better be. Because like, like everybody wants to say, there's a million and one DJs and we have the option to choose whoever we want as our DJ. Okay. I just gave you the opportunity. Didn't I just give it the opportunity? Yes, did I, bitch. Don't get on this motherfucker. Don't get on Beyonce's internet. It's not fucking acting like you don't know now. Beyonce don't got an internet. It's why we I'm on my other page. I'm on my other page. Are you crazy? Beyonce you right. I was right here. But you know, I don't know the whole cast, bro. I don't know y'all yeah, by y'all names. That's right. Be how the fuck y'all yeah. know. But I, I wrote you... Bro, I just seen it. I know what I'm. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so now you know. I don't know. Look at my. Face. I don't know who the bitches is that be on baddies, bro. It's not you just wrote me. Yes, but I didn't know your page, your name. Just how the fuck you wrote me? Because I looked at the shit that says no, no. But I, you know, bitches be having fake pages and shit. Hold on, wait. So you was writing a fake Hold page. On. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. How y'all do this? No, I wasn't, I wasn't writing no fake page. No, no. <laughs> You paid five thousand an episode to DJ. Four thousand. Four thousand. I thought it was forty eight hundred. It's forty eight. Yeah. It's no tears. It's no shade. Not five thousand. No, no. I got a ball on the picture. What's up? Talk, talk to me. Go ahead. Baby, why? You, why you was? Why? What's up? With, with like, what? What made you like? What? Why? Like, like the next episode? Definitely okay. Like, I and who's I explained this many, 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 many times on live? Like, you know what I'm saying? My story's not gonna change. Yes, what Anna said was very true. Facts. You know what I'm saying? What made it easier for me to say it to her because that was something I already felt because of what I experienced. It really had nothing to do so much with Mariah or me standing up for Mariah. Mariah didn't ask me to say nothing. Mariah didn't need me to say nothing. I'm an adult. I, I can feel a certain type of way and voices. Watch this part goes over people's heads. It's like Mariah be getting vindicated. But then y'all move on to the next reason why y'all hate her. And then she gets vindicated for that. And then y'all move on to the next reason. But okay. Especially I'm coming in the house about to get to know these girls. So yes, granted, that, that is a conversation I could have. Because mind you, Anna was the one going around. She did an interview, an interview with the hairstylist, remember? And I played that in several videos. She was the one who came out and said, oh, Mariah and her got close. And she felt like she was close to her. So she spilled her information to her. Either Anna said that or Mariah said that. But I feel like it was Anna talking about how Mariah and Nuno had got close. Which is another reason why I, again, don't like Anna because it's like, look at the things that you say. It's very calculated and manipulative. And then look how it blows back on Mariah. But now when Mariah gets vindicated, nobody cares because people already hate her. And the lie is more entertaining than the truth. How we're off camera. How we had the conversation off camera. Due to the fact yeah, we do have the camera. What, the whole thing is everyone listens to production. All these girls listen to the production, whether they're coaching us to be like, hey, talk about this situation or do this. Oh, everyone listens to production. That sounds like Ashley. 
So it's like, stop trying to run with that narrative when everyone is, even what Natalie happened? has to listen to production. No shame. And Natalie is a bad guy a lot in these situations. Yeah, it's not because it's Natalie. It's because production has told her to do a certain thing. <laughs> That's how that goes. She just don't say nothing. She just she looks like the bad guy because she's the messenger. That's who face is is in a, is in the front row. Who's in the front line? But it's not necessarily coming from that. Who. Yes, it is. Everything comes from production. So it's like we're here to no. So it definitely so comes from Natalie. It comes from production. Yo. It comes from production comes from productions their story producers they be sitting there next to the main camera let's well, they need to do better they need to do better because these tired ass stories that drag out for 10 20 episodes over the course of two three days they need to do better zeus at this point hire some of us as helping keeping y'all show alive keeping y'all show alive because we sit here doing interviews video reviews watch alongs all of this and why is it that we write in a better show in our heads than y'all actually producing on the show? Go ahead and clock that tea and tell me how it tastes, Lamel. Be real. Let's be real here. Just like, like, I, just you like, ain't talking to nobody who ain't done yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I could drop messages between Natalie and production it's not about and no I'll messages. see what she says. And you, and you probably can, Smiley. I'm not discrediting whatever your experience was. And you probably can. As far as for me, that wasn't my experience when I had to deal with Natalie and production. So that's not my, that's, that wasn't my, that wasn't my path. That was so I'm not going to discredit it. I don't know I was on the season with you. What I'm saying is everything is for production. That's just what the fuck. It's too much going on. I need to speak, like, can we just get new new talking? DJ Scott, mute your mic. Smiley, get off the mic. Get off the camera. Like, what are we doing? What are we? I have. I'm gonna just shut up and eat my food. It is. And they're lying and just say they don't. Oh, y'all, y'all yeah. want to see my boyfriend? You got a boyfriend? Yeah. But who? Um, just what I just didn't respect is like, oh, it was more like, oh, I chose you. No, I didn't choose you. You know, I didn't choose you. Everybody hey, has to be a certain person. Hey, come man. up to me. Whisper in my ear. Diamond was sitting right next to me. Jalen and Sapphire were right on the other side of Diamond. Once they told me, they was like, what happened? And I, I whispered to him. I said, they were. Prince looks cute, cute with his hair like that. <laughs> God, that man got a better story than it. you. And I put, I put her up on gas. I told Mariah so she could know. Yeah. So I was standing more like, okay. It's too much going on. Once they told me, they was like, what happened? And I, I whispered to him. I said, they were. God, that man got a better story really than you. And I put, I put her up on gas. I told Mariah so she could know. So I was standing there like, okay, me and you, let's just, let's just act like we're going to do whatever. And we're going to beat them at their own game. So when I came into the house and the shit popped out through DTP, I got up. Oh, is that friend? Drink my wig. So I drink on me. And I just want to I'm like, don't oh. fuck with me. I'm just trying to hit Nuno. I swear, I'm just, I don't give a damn about no Prince, about no King, about no Diamond, uh, about no Ace of Spades, Shell, about no Peasant. I don't care. I don't care. Prince weirdest. So what? What? It, Thank you. I mean, it only took ten minutes. Did I answer your question, Pusan? No, no, it did not. I could barely hear anything. You feel okay. me? So what's up? Talk to me. What, what's your question? Period. No, cause I cause I fucked up with you and my sister. Like that's my sister. No shade. So uh, you on the live? I was definitely was not jacking that preview. The next episode of you were like, were like what? Like you're saying like what? Possess you to look so for so since production told. You, Stand up and address it. That's why you stood up. You addressed it, even though it really ain't. We got pulled out, and the man who signed the check was like, "Uh, uh, y'all being too friendly." So we were pissed. We were pissed that we even had to go in there and do that. We didn't want to do that. We wanted the fucking vibe. You know how just like y'all say every time when the replacements come in, it's like we fight. And we felt that same way too. 
we felt the exact same way too. So we like, you know, we want to come and we want to buy. So in the midst of the conversation I saw, I done turned around. Now DJ Sky. And then the fact that he couldn't edit that out. Girl. Around on him, I wouldn't even listen to him no more. I was pissed the fuck off. So when I came in, we came back in, everybody peed. Because it was all over our face. So as I'm sitting there, I'm not going to say who came up to me, but someone walked up to me from production, whispered in my ear in front of all of the girls that were sitting at the table. Everyone saw it. And so I got that was never really about honor. They wanted Ashinata to see me. They just thought to see he was going to say something for honor. That's what they really wanted. It was never about honor. It was never about her. And that's why I keep trying to say it was never about me, girl. They really wanted to see They felt like they gave her they felt like they all that money and she didn't really do nothing. That's why they were bringing me to That's why they were doing the things like that. To get actually out of her. She came on the show. Let's talk about it. Oh, no, no, no. Let's talk about it. Because, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. You can't hear me? You can't hear me? Okay, I'm going to back off now. My- <sighs> okay, because I'm sure we all got the same thoughts. I- it's loud. Let's go to my side. Oh, 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 I didn't. Fuck you mean, is it loud? Ain't you a whole ass DJ? You don't know about acoustics? Girl, of course it's loud. Of course it's loud because ain't enough furniture in whatever restaurant y'all in. So all we hear is is the vocals bouncing up and down off the towels. Girl, and then you about to go outside and it ain't about to be nothing but car horns and and firefighters and fire trucks and gunshots because y'all know how y'all cousins be doing. Ain't she out in LA? Right. Girl, how about you just get off the lot, period? You not want this season, ho? I didn't even get to tell you about this. I'm, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, we'll talk about it first before I talk about it on here. enough sense to mute her mic as she walking through a crowded place with copyright music that could possibly get this live shut down I I believe every last word. Listen, I try to tell y'all, but y'all know I'm psychic. It's okay. And I told y'all one of my strongest gifts is, oh God, I mess up the term every time. Hold on. Is it clear gustance or cl- clear cognizance? Okay. Clear, clear cognizance. Okay. Which is, wait, let me make sure I got it right. Yes. It's clear gnomon. Right, that's my strongest psychic gifts. Okay, I possess all the clears to a certain point, but clear cognizance is my strongest. Right, and so, so I just I just be knowing shit. Okay, I'll get downloads or when I hear people talk, I'll just know. Like you're lying, you're telling the truth. She's telling the truth. 
the absolute truth. Tzatziki is being full of shit right now. And I'm not just saying it because she's disappointed me this season. Because she was my fan fave. And just like a lot of y'all's fan fave last season. But Nunu's telling them 100% truth right now. I believe her. Weirdness. Like, you know what I'm saying? She was just, she was having a good time. She was vibing. So that's understandable. Like, you know what I'm saying? But they really wanted action out of Tzatziki. And I was real about that. So if I was real about that, damn bitch, give me the same in return. We could have argued all motherfucking day and night. Like, you feel know what I'm saying? But it just, it went too far where I was violated too many times. And I feel like, damn, put you up on game. I didn't even have to say shit. I could have just let it roll how it rolled. But I put you up on game to let you know what it was. So like, hey, I ain't got a problem with you. Whatever, whatever, whatever. They wanted me, blah, 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 blah. So what we gonna do is, tomorrow we see each other, we just gonna argue. That was what, what it was supposed to be in. So after everything played out and you did that flaw ass shit, okay. Now I have to fight you. What's the flaw? What's the flaw? What's the I'm missing? What's the flaw? The flaw ass shit is if I come up and I tell you what happened and put you up on game about something, and then we have a middle person because I I can't call on a or talk to her, the middle person who's coming in between both places done told you, and we come to agree that we're just gonna argue and call it a day. And then I come into some other shit, which is fine because I don't duck no smoke. But even it, with me fighting Diamond, you didn't have to jump in it. You didn't have to violate my stuff, my personal, my my personal things. You didn't have to do any of that, and you chose to do it. Got it. Okay, I got the full story. So, in chronological order, so I know I'm all about that. Okay, and it'd it, it be one or two of y'all that get into the comments, and then, but what about this? I mean, I'm just saying, here's an alternate, bitch. I'm literally saying it to you in chronological order. How there is no alternate, this is the chronological order. Okay, so the chronological order of the situation we have the Mariah Lynn and the Honor Max stuff. We're not even gonna rehash that. I did that so many times in videos, but that goes down. Then you have Mariah Lynn allegedly telling Nunu, filling her in on all the stuff that's going on with Anna. There's nothing wrong with that because they both addressed the entire house. Anna told her bus, Mariah Lynn told her bus. Again, we're not supposed to know that the replacements are around. So obviously, we're not going to see that conversation between Mariah Lynn and Nunu if it did happen. However, Anna Mac took that as Mariah Lynn. It like again, this is where Anna starts being manipulative, which is why I don't like her. Anna Mac later on after the season is saying that Mariah Lynn was putting a battery in Nunu's back. Okay. Or more actually, she didn't she didn't say that Mariah put a, a, a battery in Nunu's back, but it's it's what was implied. Girl, if you if you know that you're speaking on my right and you know that everybody, hey, how are you even mentioning this? If you now know the truth, that production set it all up. Again, this is what I'm saying that people not clocking with Anna that I don't like. It's the messiness. <sighs> but in chronological order, what happens is Mariah and Anna fight. Mariah and Anna update everybody that they close to in their vans and whether we see it on camera or not. The replacements come in to be on camera again. Okay, before they go in, production pulls Nunu aside, well, all the girls aside, and tell them, y'all need to go in there and y'all need to kick it up. Y'all need to make a mark. This shit is boring. Let's break up this scene. They go inside. They all vibe in. They don't listen to production. Production picks Nunu out because out of Nunu and Kiva and Jellybean, Nunu going to get them cracking. So they whisper in her ear and say, hey, I need you to bring this up to Anna because they was hoping that Tzatziki was going to jump in. Right now, Nunu says that at some point she tried to tell Anna about this. I don't know if she told Anna, like, that's the part that's a little unclear. Maybe she means before the next episode she tried to tell Anna. Because if you see that the girls are all coming in, like, if you see that the girls are already in there and then you're the replacements are outside, and then that's when they pulled you aside, and then you go in and then you, oh, okay, so maybe while. The girls was all sitting down in the restaurant. That's when Nunu told Anna. Got it. Got it. Now, 
no, 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 no. Because Nunu said, they all said, okay, make a mark. And it wasn't until they whispered in her ear that she found out about Anna. So yeah, I'm unsure about that part of when she told Anna, hey, let's just try to make this for TV. But I'm just going to assume that's before the next episode. Either way, either way, production talked to the girls outside the restaurant. Then when they got in there, they saw that the vibe was too chill. They came in, whispered in Nunu's ear in front of all the girls. All the girls know what this means by this point. All of them know what this means by this point, including Anna. So when Nunu says something, instead of Anna just chilling, it escalates. I guess it's like, okay, well, let's give a scene, whatever. Nunu is saying that Anna escalated shit too far because it was just supposed to be an argument. However, next season, I mean, next episode, Anna blindsides Nunu by touching her stuff when DCB now jumps in. And Biggie at some point jumps in. Okay? So that's all we know so far. And that it was supposed to be, they was hoping Tzatziki was going to jump in, but Anna took it too far. And then in real life, that's when, you know, Anna did the interview and she mentioned that Mariah had gotten close to Nunu and that's what, you know, basically put a, ba a battery in Nunu's back. So, okay. Now we have a problem for real now. I'm, we'll talk about Like, I'm, I'm not going to sign a check. That's your people, for real. So, you should try to figure out why your people threw you in the, under the bus. They have nothing to do with me. And they really didn't have to wear a window like that. But we still have a job for entertainment. Y'all want to be
miss me with it. You're not gonna be able to do it on camera and think it's gonna be cool and I'm gonna and I'm gonna vibe. No, I didn't pick you. I would have never chose you. If it was us, I would have so that's that's really what the issue is. So it's like when you getting on live and you acting like you don't know what happened or you acting like you ain't got no problem, but you did X, Y, and Z. And it, this is my first time hearing any of this, but she's talking about Anna. But see, what did I? What do I keep saying? I keep saying Anna is manipulative, and she's literally explaining how Anna's trying to manipulate the situation with her. Of course, she's gonna look like the bad. Like I, I'm, I'm noticing a recurring theme here. A lot of who we're supposed to think is the villain isn't actually the villain, and it's some fuck shit going on. Are, are y'all noticing this? Diamond the body, Mariah, now her. Like it's like it is one narrative and then there's another narrative and then there's the truth. Like it's it's, it's an issue now. It's an issue. So I mean, it's either you can understand it or you don't, but that's just how I feel. Like just say if I put you up on game about something and then boom, you or you put me on game about something and then I flip and then do some fucked up shit. You wanna be like, damn bitch, I just put you up on put you up on game. Put your phone game about something. So that's that's really what the issue is. So it's like when you getting on live and you acting like you don't know what happened, or you acting like you ain't got no problem, but you did X, Y, and Z, miss me with it. You're not gonna be able to do it on camera and think it's gonna be cool and I'm gonna and I'm gonna vibe. No, I didn't pick you. I would have never chose you. If it was us, I would have never chose her because for what? She's small as fuck. She's small, small as hell. So it's like I, Anna can fight though. Even if she's small, she can still get totally fine. But I don't okay. feel like I don't feel like she, it's a fair fair fight between me and her. I don't think Anna back it down nothing. She tried to get no, her Roly. I had to fight Roly at the As any woman or anybody should, everybody should be able to stand on their head. I respect anybody for that. My thing is that I would have never even said her. I don't feel like that's a, really a fight between me and her. I don't feel like that. I don't. Like you know what I'm saying. So I just feel like it'd been too easy. Well, sister, it's, it's gonna be. No shame. Yeah, right? you're right. <laughs> Facts. No shame. Yeah. My sis gets down. That's real New York. And, and I'm, I'm happy she do, because I do too. All right. I do too, baby. I don't pull no hair. I don't, I don't swing with my hands open. I don't, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Like, <laughs> I don't give a damn about that. none of that. None of it. But that, that that's really what it was, Fuson. I put you up on game about something. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And you just, but no, 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 I've seen you. You can fight too. So yeah, it's not it's like, like you know. girl, we don't care about the fight and we care about the tea. <sighs> Shut up. But well, I feel like, it, I feel like when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, when it, when it comes down to like Zeus, it don't matter about it being fair or not. You just got to run your ones. Because right. Like it, it just is what it is. It is what it thing. is. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I made that very clear from the beginning. When it happened, I did want to fight her. I made that very like, I don't want to fight that girl. Yeah, I didn't like what she did. And I felt some type of way because of my personal situation, but it wasn't for, it wasn't enough for me to fight her. Like, I don't feel like it was worth that. So, but now it is. And that's just gonna be what it is. I'm sorry. No shade, no tea. And your voice, who's on? No shade, no tea. But you know, you playing stupid. Like how she said about the um the, the production, I didn't get on here playing dumb or oblivious to what she said. She right. That did happen. In fact, I'm not playing stupid about nothing. I'm owning everything I fucking did. I'm, I'm a grown ass woman. I, I should be, if I do something, I should be able to own it and stand on it. If not, I don't need to be doing it. So yes, that is what happened. Granted, yes, that's very much true. But yeah, this X, Y, and Z also happens too. So, yeah, what's up? That's it. And then Anna don't mind her fucking business when it comes to nobody else. So, why y'all say somebody mind their business when it comes to Anna? Like, huh? Don't let these bitches mind their business. We all grown, and that's just what it is. The point of the show is to do your fucking big one. I said that at auditions. I'm coming to do my fucking big one. And we all know we signed up for. That's all. <clears throat> That's all. Any more questions? Fine. Mm -hmm. Sure.
Rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> you say, I'm, I'm gonna need you to take this motherfucking wig off your head because if you swirl or curl, what? this motherfucker no, 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 curl. Fuck your time. I need some a water spritzer now. And now it's detangled. I like the puppy look. I like the I puppy like look. The, uh, okay, anyways. Um, you know, I don't want to just like come on here. Nunu is 100% right. You know, I'm going to gag y'all. Here we go. You feel me? They cut out all my. I'll be like, we want. All I'm saying, maybe because you're reading it, maybe because you're reading it, you're not able to hear me say it. You're you're interpreting it in in a weird way, and that's not that's not what I'm doing. Like, what did I I do? Like, why? I feel like JL said she yes, the fuck she was supposed to come fight to Siki. That bitch know what the fuck was going on. I told and better what you later. Mm -hmm. Like what did I, I do? Like why? I feel problem? like that came all, like some with with some type of miscommunication on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Not at that moment there. That wasn't the vibe there. We all were big vibe and we all were in the same spot. Mm-hmm. We were all taking shots. Everything. Else. Remember, I gave you my puffy and went the fuck on. Yeah. And met up with you later. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? And she yeah, was I, right I with me. You a real bitch. Yeah, she was right with me. Mm-hmm. Like that. That wasn't. That wasn't. Yeah. That wasn't it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, What's up, Usain? What's up, Usain? If that wasn't it, yeah, because what's the thing with y'all? Was, um, why was she on live talking about her then? Like, what's I don't, I don't, that? I don't know. I don't know how that situation started on the internet. I'm not gonna speak in that because I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really don't know. If I don't know, something, okay, I'm not gonna speak. Well, I can break it down okay. for you. This how it happened. Hey, okay. Molly. Rolly said I came to fight. I was supposed to come fight to Siki, and I said that's never true because I don't get story produced. JL said. She yes, the fuck she was supposed to come fight to Siki. That bitch know what the fuck was going on. I okay. told Rolly to check watch bitches like her, and she was chiming on what Rolly was saying about me coming and what I was supposed to do and what I'm not supposed to do and what kind of bitch I am that I'm a gotcha. weird bitch or whatever. Mm-hmm. So boom, I'm like, I don't even know you. Why are you speaking up on me? So yeah, because I feel like you were you were being nice. You was vibing. Yeah, you- that's how I'm. A- that don't drive you crazy. See your DMs. I don't. Gosh. Yeah, that's what I'm just. <sighs> okay. Okay. Y'all, she's not on that. Let me tell you something right now. She's not on that. Word to my dad, she's not on that. And this is what I'm talking about. Anna's bark is bigger than her bite. Her mouth is too big. It's too big. Literally too big. Off camera, she's not on that. No camera, she's not on that. That's why I threw lemonade on that bitch with no camera. So she know, bitch, this is real life. Camera, off camera, no camera. I'm going to bomb your shit every fucking day, bitch. None of that shit. So I don't know why the fuck she even... You was just dick riding diamond. So I'm not even going to... Okay, okay, cool. Okay. I just... I cannot. I cannot. Hold on. Cause I can't. She's not on that. Yo, where to my dad? She's not on that, bro. I'm not. The bitch is not on that, bro. The bitch is not on that. I'm trying to tell y'all something. And the only reason why she got that one good hit in is because she snuck diamond. But that bitch is not on that. She was. So it sounds to me that Nunu really wasn't trying to fight Anna. But like Nunu said, Anna kept antagonizing the situation to the point where it's like, okay, bitch, now we're going to have to fight. Like, I was trying to spare you because you're little. And I really I really did not want to fight you at all because you're little. Production made us even have an interaction. So at this point, you're dragging it now. And now I'm going to have to whip your ass. But Anna's spinning the story to make it look like the girl is scared. <sighs> Was mad scary. You wanted to dap up Diamond after the fight. Da, da, da. And they're like, girl, you're not on that. Like, please. no, no, please. Then you keep talking about what I'm doing, babe. Why are you worried about me? You trying to fuck? <laughs> she was. Th- it gotta be a childish thing. Look at one on one, one one one. Shout out to Spirit. Everybody say, "Hey, Spirit." Now go book a Rita. Maybe it's a childish thing, but like at the end of the day, I need y'all to remember. Anna was fucking production. 
Lamel, the boss. She's been around since Batty South. So it's like, before we throw on our cake for honor, you got you also have to remember she was literally sleeping with the boss, and that was why her and Scotty was going back and forth. But everything about it is given child like Nuna made perfect sense when she spoke. But everything with honor has to be a show. It gotta be a spec a, 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 a spectacle. Like, girl. Just said like like Anna strikes me as somebody who can't just admit when they're wrong, and it's like always a reason for a reason. But no, what about this reason? Reason, and then in the alternate universe, this could have happened. So just in case that could have happened in the alternate universe, I did what I had to do. Like, girl, just say I was wrong. Just say okay, maybe I could have taken a different approach. But she strikes me as somebody who's never wrong, and it's really like her age is showing. It's really giving immature. This diamond. Are you trying? Baby daddy don't even like you. You keep talking some. Oh, that's baby daddy, baby mama drama. No, bitch. He been not claiming you. Go on Google. He only likes the white lady. I don't see your kid in not, not a single fucking pit, bitch. No shade, actually. I mean, Antonio Brown, you slow. So you need to go be a father. But hey, bitch, that nigga don't even love your kid. Like, all my niggas claim me, even the one you claim. That I'm fucking, yeah. At least they claim me, bitch. That nigga, Lamel, claim you. Because I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, how did we? Okay, we went from the mother storyline to baby father kid. <sighs> I don't even want to keep saying too far because I know at some point somebody gonna be like, "It's baddies." What you expect? Don't want no. That nigga don't want his name attached to you, ho. That, that nigga don't even want to blink at you, bitch. Like, please. Then you talking about my face, baby. I don't know what was what you was told and what you want to run with. That is cool. Stop trying to argue with my friends though bitch don't say shit to diamond don't say shit to fusan if you don't like me you don't like me bitch you just don't like that niggas see niggas is see right through you bitch i tried to add diamond it won't let me About me and lie. Chilling out. This bitch wanna get on the. Okay, I got you. This bitch wanna uh, get on the live to talk about me and lie about me. Talk about I did this, this, and that, bitch. I been was working for Zeus. You stupid, stupid bitch. But also, your fatherless child. Your fatherless child. Oh, okay. Now I'm on it. Yo, you don't know me, bitch. I'll be going for hella swag. Yeah, you're worse than my dad. I will have somebody piss on your mother's grave. I go for hella swag. You don't know me, Nunu. I'm disrespectful. I've been all six months mad nice to you, bitch. I let you talk about me. I let you get on this shit, bro. As soon as the show aired, you got on live and you was like, I don't like Anna, bitch. I wasn't even on the show yet. You so worried about me. But now I'm on that. It's no more nice Anna because I try to be nice to you at that dinner. I try to be nice in general. I was nice to you when I threw that lemonade on you, ho. That was enough. Leave me alone. But I violated her. Off camera, so she know, bitch, this is real life. This ain't no TV shit. This bitch only on that on TV. She's not on that. She's not on that. Words to my dad, you're not on that. And I'm not going to keep repeating myself, but if this is what y'all love, somebody says she's wrong for saying she would have somebody pissed on her mother's grave. She needs to leave her mother out of it. Um... She told no lies. I've been clocked that about Anna. She always throwing people under the bus every single time she gets into it with people. She does. She did that with Callie. She did that with Mariah Lynn. Now she doing it with Nunu. Like every time. Every time. She was cool with Callie until Callie didn't say what she wanted her to. 
Right on Anna Always Duck and Fade. She did the same with E.T. at the reunion. Notice she snuck her and production would let them get a fair one. Just like this last episode, she was mad that Tzatziki and E.T. were still friends. Let me be protecting her. Nunu gonna smash Anna. Yeah, I noticed that. I never liked Anna, and then she started slowly growing on me, but this season just reminded me why I don't like her. She talks too much, and people be overlooking stuff with Anna because she be with Tzatziki, but she's not that different than Mariah. They do the same stuff, but in different ways. The difference to me is that I don't see Mariah just popping off at the mouth. Like, Anna is a shit starter. Mariah's not a shit starter. She's a shit finisher. That's how I look at it. I don't see Mariah as one to start. I see this over here, but this video getting too long. I okay, this is gonna be the last thing. Oh, I guess it's the same video as as uh this. So let's see which one do I want to go with? They both about 16. Okay, so is run her mouth. She even called you got a whole different crew, and we ain't going for it. You know, we were walking back to get back to the buses going to come out. It was never no, oh, she was talking to somebody and I jumped in it. No, you said my name. She got into an argument with Biggie at KFC. All she do is run her mouth. She even called her little Arnold. And she said, and Nunu said that bees are plotting and scheming against her. So listen to what she had to say. Mm -hmm. So as I get on here talking, the, the truth going to come out. The truth was going to come out. It was never no, oh, she was talking to somebody and I jumped in it. No, you said my name. She got into an argument with Biggie at KFC. So as we, as we were walking back to get back to the buses, she was basically telling the person she was with, she was like, oh, yeah, um, uh, Biggie know that, you know, we can argue and I'm not going to, like, fight her. So that's why Biggie be saying off the wall stuff to her. But if, if it was Nunu, she wouldn't have did that. So I'm like, I'm walking. I'm like, well, I specifically said, like, what I got to do with that? She was like, no, I'm just saying, you know, um, Biggie, no, like, we friends or whatever. So um, I'm not going to really take it there with her. But if it was you, she wouldn't do that. So I'm like, why you, why you even bring my name to anything? So I left it alone. Whatever. Then she started talking about, like, oh, how she don't like this season. Um, she wishes this was last season. And I specifically said in my mouth, yeah, because them bitches wasn't about shit. That's what happened. And then she didn't like that. But it is true. You liked it that season better because they wasn't about nothing. The bitches wasn't on nothing. They wasn't on nothing. They wasn't clocking nothing. They wasn't checking nothing. Everybody was trying to be buddy buddy and trying to be friends. That's what that was. You got a whole different crew and we ain't going for it. So that's just what that is. But don't get on here and lie and be like, oh, you was having a conversation. I just jumped in. And no, 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 no. That's not how I started. You said that Biggie would not do that to Nunu. And I specifically asked you what the hell I had to do with that. I had no reason to be in your conversation about you and Biggie. Point blank, period. <laughs> Shit starter. Manipulator. Calculator. That's what happened. And in the midst of that, she threw a drink, which it hit all the side of my hair. It wasn't too much on my face. It hit my hair. So don't get on the internet line. Just like she got on here and said, production told Nunu this and this and this and that. And I got right on here and said, she's not lying. That is very much true. That happened. But what I'm not going to do is you're going to come back on here and make it seem like you didn't say my name. You said my name. You said my name. You said my name in an argument that had nothing to do with me with you and Biggie. You said Biggie wouldn't do that to Nunu. I bet if that was Nunu, Biggie wouldn't have did that. So you were trying your own home, girl. In regards of the situation, Mariah, you can say whatever Mariah said. I fight better than both you and Mariah. So why do I need Mariah? You love to throw under, other people under the bus when they got something to do with you. Somebody say something about you uh, about the, uh, the patients or keep what's going on with you. You tell her about what Natalie said. Like you love to throw other people in, in, in the mix with you. You love doing that. You're not a real bitch. You're not a real bitch. Uh -huh. This is what I'm talking about. Because some people be so blinded by their love for a person that y'all just refuse to see where a person be flawed. And Anna is very flawed. That happened. But what I'm not going to do is you're going to come back on here and make it sound like you didn't say my name. You said my name. You said my name. You said my name in an argument that had nothing to do with me with you and Biggie. You said Biggie wouldn't do that to Nunu. I bet if that was Nunu, Biggie wouldn't have did that. So you were trying your own home, girl. In regards of the situation, Mariah, you could say whatever Mariah said. I fight better than both you and Mariah. So why do I need Mariah? You love to throw under other people under the bus when it got something to do with you. Somebody say something about you uh, about the uh, the prisoners or keep it was going on with you. You telling her about what Natalie said. Like you love to throw other people in 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 the mix with you. You love doing that. You're not a real bitch. You're not a real bitch. Mariah never told me to do anything. So of course Mariah's gonna be like, I don't know why she said that exactly because she never told me to. 
She never told me to. Child, this is where I should have came from the beginning. It seemed like she got all of it. Okay. Okay. And this is the part that I was talking about where Anna brought up Nunu in an interview two months ago. When we first fell out, nobody knew. No, nobody knew we was not friends. Like I came, I came onto the season, and they thought that we was rocking. All right, and that's really what it was for me. That was fine. Like nobody knew that I was a four, and she wasn't four with me, and we were arguing. Only Tifa and Biggie, only them. So it was like, okay, like. But then it started getting up there. But yeah, other than that, and I didn't even. Excuse me. Excuse me. What's up, you? Okay. Normal. We're women. We're emotional. Uh, yeah, especially in the world. <laughs> yeah, we're all yeah. But no, I fuck with her. I fuck with her. And I think everybody's misunderstood. Just like I'm misunderstood. I definitely think everybody misunderstands Laura as well. So, yes, definitely. But when we first fell out, nobody knew. No, nobody. For me, that was fine. Kind of so it was like, okay. But then it started getting up there. But yeah, other than that, and, I, and even that, was rocking but even that, we didn't let nobody, we didn't let nobody get involved in our fucking shit. Till Nunu. That's why me and Nunu ended up falling, falling out. Because she wanted to get involved in me and my bitch shit. And you don't know us, bitch. Yeah, because I, I feel, like, like, you know, my friend behind this, y'all can't see, but I feel like if we get into it, then it should stay between us and our bitches. It shouldn't be no bitch we don't know. That's how I was coming. And that's how it felt for me because it's like, don't get, I hate you making my friendship. And this is why I don't like Anna. And this is two months ago. Like, you know, we, it was some outsider that got in between. So now you put it together. That's why I'm so glad I'm in here. You know, because then it's like, we don't bring that like to put this together. Like, okay, so. Bro, so look. I hate that she did that. Siki cursed. Siki cursed me the fuck out. She cursed. Nobody get involved. Cur Biggie and me curse each other the fuck out. Nobody get involved. Mind down goes this. Because this is why y'all keep, like, I don't know. I just feel like. That's why you can't trust people. You can't vent to people, and it's if you want it, I feel you like it could be, but it ain't no beef. It's not your business. Maybe that was a lesson she had to learn because as a, a grown woman, like grown woman to grown woman, that includes you know getting between. Like I said, we don't have to sit and um watch that because I already did videos on that before, but. Anna, this doesn't make you look better. It doesn't make your case look better. Tell her about what Natalie 
said. Like you love to throw other people in, in, in the mix with you. You love doing that. You're not a real bitch. You're not a real bitch. Mariah never told me to do anything. So of course Mariah's gonna be like, I don't know why she said that. Exactly, because she never told me to. She never told me to. It was never about her telling me to do anything. I still felt how I felt. You green as hell. If that's your friend, you be in her mama house, she helped you out, did all this. You don't fight her mama. It's not a Did I not say all of this before? Look at me being vindicated. But y'all, y'all still don't get it. <laughs> This hate for Mariah, people still don't get it. Like, and the whole reason Mariah Lynn mother checked Anna was because there was a live that Anna was doing actively talking shit about Mariah that Mariah Lynn's mother saw. So you best believe the next time that she saw her, she seen her a few minutes later. She like, um, excuse me. Not the little bitch that's been all up in my house eating my food and you online disrespect my daughter. Again, her mother should have said, never said anything, but that's what spy inspired all of these events was because of Anna online talking crap in an interview and on Instagram live. And then Mariah Lynn's mother, who happened to be there, saw it and said something because they were close like that as hell if that's your friend you be in her mama house she helped you out did all this you don't fight her mama it's not a stranger off the street you handled your friend's mom with a different type of respect just like you handled your friends with a different type of respect and respect then you would handle a stranger off the street and i'm gonna say it every time people could say whatever but would anna have done it if it was tzatziki's mother that will forever be the question i'm not about to argue all day about my little mother and da, da, da. would people have done that if it was tzatziki's mother and krishan's mother Point blank, period. You're weird. You're weird if a person that helps you and did stuff for you, whatever Mariah that helps you do, that's y'all business. But I'm pretty sure you know exactly what she done helped you do. You don't, you don't, you, you don't try to square up with her mama. And, and then you get on here talking about, I'm just trying to fight you. I'm just trying to fight you. You're the least person I was trying to fight with. You can't fight to me. Let's clock it. You cannot fight. You swing wild as hell. You built like a six year old little boy, bitch. Somebody fight for you again. Okay, what's new? What's new? What's new, Anna? Want to have somebody fight for you again? And what's so crazy is a fan sent me her line. And I, I specifically wrote back to the fan. I was like, please, thank you, but I don't really care about that she talked about. But some just say, just, just, no, nah, just go on there. And when I go on there, the bitch lying. The bitch saying, oh, yeah, I was saying this. No, you did say that. You definitely did say that. You did say stuff about you not liking this season and whatever, whatever. You did say that. But that's not the first thing you said, who? That's not the first thing you said, hey, Arnold. You said Biggie wouldn't have did that to Nunu. So you were throwing your own homegirl, your soft-ass homegirl under the bus. Basically saying she ain't really about that life. That's what you were saying. You were saying your friend wasn't about that life. And Biggie also has said you don't even speak Spanish. She said that when we was walking at KFC. So we throwing people under the bus. Let me just go ahead and throw, let me throw them things out there, too. She said you're a fake walla walla that you don't really speak Spanish. <laughs> we could tell all of that. We could easily tell that from the episodes. So, what happened? What happened? I ain't never got to get on here and lie to get my point across. I'll make nobody feel bad about me. I'll make nobody feel sad or, or bad about a situation. So what, that's what you went told to see. Oh, um, yeah, she, she, I was saying this and, and she jumped in it or you didn't tell her the real. You didn't tell her how you said my name first. And that's how it initially started. Cause you need somebody to protect you. Ho, I don't need no motherfucking protection, ho. I don't need no protection. What the fuck? Why, why I need protection for bitches who I can fight better than? You talking about jumping who? Mariah gonna be in the damn jump. Y'all hoes gonna have to jump me, puss ass ho. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all hoes gonna have to jump me, bitch. Is you stupid or dumb? You stupid or dumb? Y'all gonna have to. Cause bitch, I ain't going. Ho, you know that? That shit didn't go how you wanted to go. And you know that. Come on. A bitch got put on the floor two times for you, bitch. And you couldn't even raise your hand up for them for a chain, pussy ho. Cause you an opportunist, bitch. You an opportunist. One thing about it, I ain't gotta be friend no ho. I ain't gotta sit there and fake kick it with their bitch. I ain't gotta do that. I don't need to be recruiting nobody, bitch. One man army hoe. I stand ten toes by mine, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all hoes got the game fucked up. I ain't fucking numbers don't. I'm getting the same recognition as them hoes. People ask me questions, I answer them. That's it. I didn't pick on her. I didn't call her name. Did you say what you feel about her? I said what I said about Anna. She tried me. I'm going to fight her. I said the same thing about Biggie. That's not picking on somebody. Somebody asked the question to the point when I was getting on live. I kept telling y'all, stop asking me about her. And then I wasn't going live. I wasn't even answering no questions about her. The last person who asked me something about her is when I got on the live with Diamond and Fusan. Let's talk about it. I'm only, I only answer something when I'm asked. When she got on live with Diamond Body, Diamond didn't ask nothing about me. She volunteered my name. When Cardi B got on there and was like, she um she just like the original OGs. It had too much going on. She specifically put out, yeah, I didn't like the replacement. She didn't say nothing about me. She didn't like the, the, the new main cast either. She was talking, she was sitting out the new main cast and the replacement. But you, if you, you take out hoes, these hoes get on here and love to say this replacement shit. Bitch, I'm that bitch. How's we gonna have two hoes? Fuck is you talking about? They think they plot. It's always a plot and a scheme. I don't have to plot and scheme when they're a hoe about nobody. A hoe ain't never had me that bothered. Why well, I got a plot and scheme? Bitches is plotting and scheming against me. Bitch, I'm clearly, I'm clearly a threat. And for 
own birth, the whole big birth the bitch. Yeah, what happened? We're gonna get in the motherfucking paint. If you jumping in fights, throwing drinks, throwing shoes, throwing um setting up face with people, mama bitch, you clearly don't give a fuck about your face, just like that nigga ain't give a fuck about your face. And just oh. I'm fight and go. When you get into a certain situation, you gotta be ready and expecting a certain outcome. I don't give a fuck. The fuck. Bitch, okay, I know who the fuck hit me and what's your fucking point? What's your fucking point? By the time I could even say anything to Slim, she was already off the show and I already spoke to Slim. Just the same way I could have spoke to Anna. And guess what? Did, did Slim do anything else to me? No, the fuck she did not. I understood Slim. Because when I jumped in that situation, I had to be ready for somebody else to jump in that situation. That's how that shit go. That's how fight and go. When you get into a certain situation, you got to be ready and expecting a certain outcome. You can't just go on and think it ain't, ain't, ain't nothing going to happen. That's the whole thing. I don't give a fuck. I jumped in that situation against a girl who's coming at the house already knowing somebody else might in the house might try to jump in. Oh, motherfucking well, I'm ready. And this is what I'm expecting from Anna. Because with all of that mouth that Anna has, this is what I say. This is what I mean when I say accountability and responsibility. Like, this is what I'm looking for from Anna to say. Versus her trying to flip the narrative, bring somebody else into it, deflect, play the victim, spin the narrative, cry, hand it to the fans. Baby, get high. I'm not complaining about it. Like, it, it very much gives younger toddler baby sister who cries for attention, like a little baby that cries for attention, like a little terrible too, and then cries and gets mad and throws a temper tantrum when they, they don't get their way. I'm complaining about none of that shit. I don't care. There's no rules in fighting. I don't give a fuck. I'm not sitting on here complaining, complaining, oh, I'm fractured on my face. And she knows I'm not complaining because, bitch, once you do shit, bitch, if you ain't moving like a hoe who face fracture, bitch, then, bitch, you're going to get in the motherfucking paint. If you jumping in fights, throwing drinks, throwing shoes, throwing arms, um, setting up face with people, mama, bitch, you clearly don't give a fuck about your face just like that nigga ain't give a fuck about your face. And just in case you didn't know, it Lock was it. revealed by Stunner Girl that Anna Max boyfriend allegedly put paws on her and fractured her face. That's why Anna Mack was on the injured reserve list for Baddies Caribbean. But already quick to be on it and then talk about who karma, bitch. What was your karma when that nigga was turning you every which way but loose? Huh? Or your karma for fucking another bitch nigga and she had to beat you up on a motherfucking staircase, hoe? What, 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 what happened? The only thing a bitch can say is my motherfucking baby daddy. We know he ignorant. He ain't got shit to say about nobody. He ain't got nothing nice to say about nobody. My baby daddy's ignorant. I'm pretty sure when his, his episode air on the auntie podcast, he gonna be talking shit right in the now. I bet you my bottom dollar. And what happened? That's all y'all hoes can say is my baby daddy. He talks shit. He's a troller. He don't have no respect for women. He don't have no respect for nobody. Am I the only one that doesn't know who New News baby daddy is? Name under the bus. That's weird fucking behavior. Never seen no hoe who can't get into the paint and stand in it by herself. These bitches always need somebody else. Y'all always need to go run and throw somebody else's name under the bus. That's weird fucking behavior. That's weird behavior. That's not real bitch behavior. I would never be on here with a bitch I don't like. Cop plea with the bitch I don't like just because we got a mutual bitch who don't like me. I just I just don't do flow ass shit like that. It, it be giving mad bitches link up. It be giving mad bitches link up. One thing about it, y'all ain't got to agree with what I did. I don't give a fuck. I stand on it. Whether y'all motherfuckers like it or not, I don't give a fuck. I'm standing on it. What happened? Bitch, you might not like me today. Bitch, you might not like me tomorrow. Bitch, each time I got motherfucking paid. So what the fuck we talking about? What the fuck we talking about? What the fuck we talking about? Like, stop. So. Five. But I just wanted just to attach <sighs> this to New News Live. Listen to this. Let me say something right now. You bitches are grown as the fuck. Grown as the fuck. I don't want to hear no weak ass bitch tell me that production. Did, did, you can't because that's why you know how many times production try to. That's their job to plant the bug. It's your job to be a real bitch, but you're not. It's your job to have a backbone, but you don't. It's your job to have your own mind, but you don't got it. That's that's what it's about. That's what makes reality TV. That's why people be like, oh, this shit's so fake. Production can't tell me to do nothing. Matter of fact, I was telling production, bring J.A. Scott, because I'm going to fuck that the truck. I'm going to do this. I'm going to I honestly don't care what Anna's saying. And it's not because, it, I mean, there's some truth to what she's saying. But then at the same time, as much as we all want to yell at these girls and say, it's TV, they're going to do that. 
time and time shows again and again, and history keeps repeating that more often than not, these girls walk in and do get played by production. They come from nothing. They expecting it to change their life. Production is threatening, you know, to hold food. Like they, like how many times do they joke about not being able to eat? So production is holding over their head. You know what I'm saying? So as much as we all want to sit and say what honest trying to say now, like that, that, that would be real rich and grand to say, but we see nine times out of 10 on reality TV that a lot of these girls do get played by production. It just is what it is. And again, you're literally fucking the CEO of the network. So you're protected. That's a different level of protection, Anna. I'm just, let's get into this last clip. And she's saying, I mean, you know that's not true. To me, that's how I got paid. But now you know they, you know they just put a stop payment on all my shit. They disputed all my payments. What you mean, they? They disputed all, all my payments. Like I gotta go to court. Wait, hold on, because I do want to go through the comments of her video. Shout out to uh, who? What's her name? Lola Lee Chat. Shout out to her. You don't even speak Spanish and the whole Mariah Lynn letting her sleep in her house is crazy. Uh, she needs a storyline on this last episode and want camera time. See, people like this, I don't like. Because are you even listening? Girl, Nunu bl uh, bled her ish. It's so crazy how Automat grew balls over the season because at her very first appearance on Baddies, she was not talking smack when Krishan told Tasiki to confront Anna. And she didn't get on live talking about it like she's doing now with other people. Boom, because she know that Tasiki gonna protect her, and Tasiki can't come out. Listen, and that's another part too. I don't give a fuck what Tasiki come out and comment on these blog pages and try to say. We've literally seen you on the episodes. That's why I kept pointing it out. That's why I kept saying, notice how Tasiki's not saying anything to Mariah, and and, and no, nah, not saying anything to Anna in regards to Mariah. But notice how Tasiki keeps saying everything to Mariah about Anna. Even when Mariah was telling the girls, oh, yeah, me and Anna made up, Tzatziki was dead silent. That's why I keep pointing that out, because it's like now Tzatziki, for whatever reason, feel like she got to protect Anna. Whether she realized that's what she's doing or not. I don't like Anna, but I don't think she even said anything for Nunu to get mad at her. She basically said that Biggie wouldn't talk out of pocket to Nunu, like how big he talks out of pocket to Anna. We need to stop spreading the BS about Chris. Okay. I hope Nunu run her ish on a reunion. Maybe this is what Tzatziki meant when she said that she couldn't speak up with the Mariah and Anna issue or else they would lose their job. I'm sorry, I didn't think Lemmy got them doing some sick Lord of the Flies stuff because he got money and they want to keep their jobs. The only thing I disagree with Nunu is speaking on the situation with Anna and mom. Granted, her respect for your elder. Okay, we're not getting into that again. Okay. Because it did. Uh, <sighs> I keep jumping to step 10. At this point, <laughs> we need to come up with a podcast called Step 10. <laughs> y'all switch up so fast, but she acting like it was her situation, and so was uh, some of y'all's. Okay, we, we're not going... I'm done with the mom topic. Go like the video one last time so we can wrap this up. But the universe is being double T to the Y And it won't stop till I wake up and realize that I am the one, two, three I am the bitch that these other niggas need How you gonna escape when I am the key? That's why everywhere I go, they say following me like damn Get back on track, look at who I am Every day is number than this life span Look in the mirror, tell myself again Self love and happiness is all about a guy's plan your page your name whether they are coaching us to be like hey talk about this situation or gotta give her the side eye sometimes i really do i really do it's no shade not five thousand no no i gotta go on the what's table. up I, talk to me go ahead baby why you, why you would why what's up with, with like what what made you like what why like like what's the matter with you? it's an issue so 
like how she said, don't fuck with you. Okay, so I see, as I see, this is stuff we already went through. Um. Okay, Nunu spoke, speaks about it one more time. Yeah. She said Anna is running her mouth and she has no room to talk considering her man is putting paws on her. You know what? Let's think you can talk about my baby daddy. And let's be fucking... You have no room. You have no room to talk about no when a you will stand with is 90 going north. You have no business talking about a nigga when a nigga you with got holes in your shit and beating that nigga hate you, ho. That nigga hate you, bitch. Let's be fucking clear. And broke, bitch, broke. You can't even leave, ho. The same bitch, the same bitch, mama, who you on is the same bitch who had to come bring you money to buy you a fucking battery. And all that, you get all that, and you ain't, you ain't even got enough money to get your ass. Oh. Oh shit, and beating that nigga hate you, ho. That nigga hate you, bitch. Let's be fucking clear. And broke, bitch, broke. You can't even leave, ho. The same bitch, the same bitch, mama, who you on is the same bitch who had to come bring you money to buy you a fucking battery. Oh, okay. So apparently, Anna Mac is broke. She tried to, I don't know if she was trying to leave the abusive boyfriend or like if the car broke down or something like that, but it sounded like the car just broke down. And my violin came and brought her a new battery for her car. All that, you get all that, and you ain't get, you ain't even got enough money to get your ass from by the nigga. A bitch gotta go buy you a battery to put in your fucking car for you to get from around a nigga who turning you every which way but loose. And I was never gonna bring that up. And mind you, remember, like six months ago, Stunner Girl did say that Automac was homeless. I wonder if this is why Anna. No, I think she's just immature. Because I was going to say, I wonder if this is why Anna does team too much because she has to do team too much to stay relevant and stay making things pop so she can generate more money. Because clearly, if we've learned nothing else from this video, the more that you do for the cameras, the more that I guess production likes you. But I mean, production already liked her to the point of fucking her. So. Is her doing too much really already necessary when they just go protect her anyways? Because I'm never with, but that's why that beat nigga talk too fucking much. You worrying about my my baby daddy, but the nigga you with is ninety going north. He's fracturing your fucking face. Ninety going fucking north. Why the fuck my baby daddy need to take care of me, bitch? I'm a grown ass fucking woman. The only thing he need to take care of his motherfucking kid. That's the only thing that nigga entitled to take care of. His motherfucking kid. My baby daddy hate his own motherfucking self. You're, that's not, you're not hurting my feelings talking about my baby daddy. He don't respect nobody, bitch. He don't respect his own mammy. He don't respect no hoe. He got four baby mamas and seven kids. He don't respect no fucking body. He battling his own fucking demons, bitch. But one thing about it is two things for certain, bitch. I'm glad that Nunu is at the point where she not still stuck in that bitter baby mama phase and she can look outside and see is bigger than me. This is like in regards to her baby daddy is about him and his own demons because a lot of women don't be there. A lot of women don't be there. So I'm learning a lot about Nuno. Before I start talking about a bitch and another nigga, I'm gonna make sure my house correct. Cause bitch, if a nigga's in your shit, kicking you out your shit and put another hoe in there, bitch, that would never be my life. That would never be my life. A nigga would never be standing up in my shit and fuck up and got a hoe in my shit and I can't even get in my shit. That would never be my motherfucking life. Not my baby daddy didn't bitch. The fuck is y'all talking about? The fuck is y'all talking about? Cool, but... Alright, so we heard what Nunu had to say and I just want to put it out there that I do not condone any sort of DV or any sort of bullying, any sort of people. Well, I don't give a fuck about none of that. I do. It ain't mine. And, and I bought this. No, no sponsor. No nigga. You know that? You know, you know who got this? My, my fans and supporters got me my bag. I'm, I stay booked and busy because my supporters. Thank you. Y'all got me my watch. Mwah, smooches. But like, come up with something better. Are you talking about a watch? Do you have a place to live? 
that's what Nunu was talking about. Do you have a place to live? Do you have a car that you can drive and not have to call Mariah Lynn and Mariah Lynn's mother to come help you put gas and money and batteries into your shit? You buying a watch, but do you have the necessities? I'm going to need your baby daddy, babe. You need him. You need him. You're not even on the level that you need to be at with that baby daddy. So respectfully, why would I need that? Why would I need that? Why would I need that? Why would I... Anna also posted this on her Instagram story. She said, nah, I'm not humble when I'm mad for real. Talk to somebody else. I'm going to make you hate me more. Y'all don't even know me. Y'all intimidated by me. That's it. Stop bringing up my mouth. Crazy as excuse. Because I ain't even talked to you. You choose me and I kills your ish. Prior to this, nobody. Okay, she pissing me off. Anna said, nah, I'm not humble when I'm mad for real. Talk to somebody else. I'm going to make you hate me more. Y'all don't even know me. Y'all intimidated by me. That's it. But stop bringing up my mouth as a crazy, uh, stop bringing up my mouth because that's a crazy excuse. I ain't even talked to you. You chose me and I killed your ish. Prior to this, nobody ever paid you dust. You just a broke baby mother. Get on live talking about me last night and every day you obsessed you want to be me. It sounded like to me, every time Nunu spoke on Anna, it was to clear up some of the hate and confusion coming her way. But every time Anna spoke, it was theatrics. It was a spectacle. It was lies. It was manipulation. It was hiding the truth. It was bringing somebody else into it. Like, Because again, you tried to make it seem like Mariah was venting to this girl and putting a battery in her back. I'm not going to go back to that interview, but in that interview, she literally said, I went to Mariah like, Mariah, this your friend? This your friend? And Mariah was like, no, 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 no. I was just venting to her. Like, why even say all of that if you know that you and Mariah are, like, this is what we talk about when we say she's manipulative and she hides behind other people and throws them into, like, if y'all don't get it by now, you never will, child. At this point, let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. I'd, I'd, we can all agree that Nunu should not have said anything. And then especially with the confessionals and doubling down on the whole. But now that we know the behind the scenes tea, it makes complete sense why she spoke up. And I still feel how I felt back then. Like, Anna, you took it somewhere else. She wasn't even coming at you disrespectful. She was stating her opinion. It was a little shady, but she wasn't even disrespectful. You got disrespectful the moment you said, you don't even know me, bitch. That was disrespectful. And then the fact that Nunu kept saying, yeah, I was trying to spit her. I don't want to go after her because she's little, but production made me do it. And I kept trying to save her, kept trying to save her. But then she started throwing stuff on me and then messing up my personal belongings. And yet Anna is online saying the exact same thing, but trying to twist it. Like, I, see, here's catch what Anna's doing because Nunu's saying exactly what happened. And Mariah, I'm sorry, Anna is coming online saying, yeah, that did happen. But she uh, she didn't um, step to me because she's not about that life. When Nunu was like, girl, I was trying to spare you. But at this point, because you did all of that, now we have to fight. Listen, I'm just here to break these shows down and make them make more sense because these storylines don't make sense. And Zeus keeps overplaying their hand with these overproduced ass storylines. And y'all be hating the wrong people and be thinking that the wrong people is the villain when actually Zeus producers and Lamel is the villain. But okay, let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. If I can fuck, and definitely make sure that you stream my music chat if you get fucked. Sign up for patreon.com slash Scott Santana to get the rest of the full tea. Don't expect me to keep doing hour and a half long videos, how I just forgot to end it but i'm gonna give y'all this but don't expect so many more universal bad bitch everybody language everybody knows she the mud mud bad bad universal bad bitch everybody language everybody knows she the mud mud bad bad universal bad bitch everybody language everybody knows she the mud mud bad bad universal bad bitch everybody language everybody knows she the mud mud bad bad Loving how they cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up, but wasn't when I'm coming up. Fuck it up. Loving how they cutting up. Now these niggas swimming up, but wasn't when I'm.